Hey, I'm back with another video, and today's video is just gonna be on this hair. I know it says in this title, this is a final um, quick review, but I just wanna say that I won't be taking the hair out, but I just wanted to let y'all know a little bit about this hair. As y'all can see, I did maybe three or four videos I'm talking about this hair. I did a first look, I did an install video, and I also showed you um, the hair with the invisible part closure. So I have been wearing this closure for two days now. I started on Saturday. No, I started on Friday. So I've been wearing it for three days now. Um, I have come to kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because at first I was loving it. Well, like I told you, at first I didn't know. And then when I came to the video, I was loving it. But now I'm kind of still like, I don't know if I really like it or not. However, I think the reason why I don't like it is because, as y'all know, I was trying to dye the hair red. And then I didn't want the red anymore, so I dyed it back black. And I told y'all that I used Revlon, Color Silk, and Soft Black. However, I feel like this hair is like jet black. And I feel like it leaves the hair kind of like unnatural looking. So, I never had hair this dark. I don't think my natural hair is even this dark. And usually when you get hair, it comes in like a natural... Um, black or brown and it has like a brown tint to it towards the end but this is all like black and to me it looks jet black I can also see that with me dyeing the hair I have dyed the hair a total of five times now or well, four times I'm sorry four times now and this is the latest with the soft black and like I was saying the ends aren't that great um, it has a great texture to it. It doesn't really get tangly. I mean, it doesn't really get tangled. Um, it is starting to shed. I don't know if it's because of the saga ring, the saga ring hair that I have in here, or if it's the actual hair here. It's not a lot, and it's not unmanageable, but I do get shedding um, with this hair. Um, also, it has been extremely hot, like in the 90s in Florida lately. And um, I just been wearing my hair. I don't like to do a lot to it, but I'll kind of like run through it before I go to class, before I go out, you know, or do whatever I need to do. I have noticed that when it's like, when I'm outside in the direct heat, if I want to run my hair, run my fingers through the hair, it's like a little bit sticky almost. Like it'll go through and it's still soft, but it's almost like a sticky, like, I don't know, like a sticky, dry, plasticky feeling of the hair. Now, the minute I step in AC and I run my hands through my hair, like, it feels amazing. And it's no problems, no issues, or whatever. So, I don't know what that's about. I don't know. The next issue is, um, this hair does not hold a curl. I curled my hair this morning before I went to class. I just bumped it in the front here and I left the rest of it straight. By the time I came back home, probably by the time I... Um, got out to go in to class for um, summer school my curls had probably already dropped I'm not sure but when I looked in the mirror when I got home I had no curls like you can tell it was bumping a little bit but yeah this hat does not hold a curl the saga doesn't hold a curl n neither does the straight uh, magic down hair hold a curl and I'm just so weird like I order I order wavy hair and then I want it to be bone straight then I order straight hair and I want it to hold a curl so I just can't win y'all <laughs> but for $148 I, I won't say maybe I'm trying to compare it to like I don't know I'm trying to compare it to other hair which I shouldn't do other Brazilian straight hair which I don't know y'all so the cons of this hair is that it is starting to shed a little bit not too much, but it does shed a little bit. Um, I did sell my wets, but I sealed it with tacky glue, tacky glue, so that may be the reason since I've been washing it with all the times that I've dyed it. So that may be a reason I may need to resell my wets because at first I wasn't experiencing any shedding. Um, like I said, when you get in the heat, there is like a sticky, um, like coarse, very coarse, weird feeling to it. Um, it doesn't hold a curl. And what else? Um, I don't like the ends of the hair. Um, maybe it's just me. I feel like the hair looks, just looks really unnatural looking like. 
But y'all can be the judge of that. I just, I don't know if it's like the closure and because none of my hair is left out that makes it feel unnatural or if, or if it's because it looks like really black synthetic hair, which it doesn't feel like synthetic hair at all. And I keep asking people like, does it look like regular beauty supply store hair? Or does it look like, you know, like really good hair? And um, a couple times people have asked me like, was this my real hair? Well, I went to, I was somewhere um, in this African braiding salon, my mom's in her hair, that, and they was like, oh my gosh, is that your hair? But, you know, anyway, um, I haven't gotten a lot of compliments on it. I just don't know if I'm just being too picky with my hair. And I'm also the type of person, like, I'll do my hair one day, and I will play in it, cut it, redo it, fix it on it for, like, four days straight until it's perfect. So, maybe I'm just being too critical on it. But y'all just let me know what y'all think. Um, again, this is the Magic with Dom hair from AliExpress.com. It was 148 in inches 20, 18, and 12 with solid gold, ringy hair and um a saga invisible part closure so thanks for watching y'all um stay tuned for more videos to come like this video or dislike this video and tell me what y'all guys think bye